What's going on guys? Trillion Bay here. Today I'm going to talk about the top five mistakes that newbie wholesalers make. And not only that, I'm going to tell you how you can fix them, how you can get over these hurdles. All right, so stay with me. Let's go. subscribe to the channel make sure you subscribe below and also make sure you turn on the notifications button so as soon as the videos come out you'll be on it all right newbie wholesaler mistake number five a newbie wholesaler mistake number five is your focus and your pro productivity that's the number one thing that we find as me and my wife and we're coaching and we're really developing somebody from the ground up that you may not know anything about real estate right and so we have all these shiny objects that's out there. You want to do this and do that and you want to do these things. And sometimes you'll get in the groove. You'll get in the groove of one particular method, like maybe driving for dollars. And or you're, you're in one particular groove is you're used to just going out there and just sending mailers. And you're just spending money sending mailers. But you don't know how to actually close the deal. Right? So your focus and your productivity has to be in the right place at the right time. And so what you want to do is work on talking to sellers, work on knowing what to say on the phone, knowing how to actually negotiate, knowing how to close a deal, knowing how to provide solutions. Focus on those things first. And how you focus on those things is you do them repetitively. All right, do them over and over and over again. And so you want to focus on the income producing activities. And as a newbie wholesaler, your income producing activity is actually being on the phone or being inside the appointments, talking to sellers, getting deals and sending offers. Right. Newbie wholesaler mistake number four. A newbie wholesaler mistake number four is not knowing how to approach sellers in the right way. Okay, sometimes when it comes down to newbie wholesalers, the things that are on your mind as soon as you're getting out of the car, right? Before you even get out of the car, the things that are going through your mind, you, you know, you're brand new, you don't really know exactly what to say and how to say it. So when it comes down to you knocking on the door or you going through the house or actually talking to the seller, it may not come, as a, come off as smooth as you want it to. And you want to know why? It's because of the mentality that you have prior to you going in. Okay, so what we work on is we work on the actual mentality of knowing that you're providing a solution for a seller's problem. If you have a seller and they're a motivated seller, like a seriously motivated seller, they're motivated because they have a problem. And so they're looking for a solution to their problem. You're coming in there as a savior, right? You're coming in there as a superhero to save the day. And so you wanna be thinking about how can you provide a solution to this particular special problem that this seller has, okay? Nothing else really matters during the, during the um, appointment if you go in there with the right mentality, okay? So it doesn't matter if you have to educate the seller a little bit. It doesn't matter if you have to dig deep and find a real, real issue and problem that they're having. Maybe it gets a little personal. Maybe you have to ask a bunch of questions. But when you find that initial, that problem, that deep problem, that's when you can start to provide your solution that you really want. Now, if you go in there with that initiative, if you go in there with that mentality, then you won't be going in there looking like you just want to get the seller at the lowest price possible and try to get their house as low as you can possibly get and that's all you're thinking about. That's clear to a seller, that's clear to when it comes down to your energies when you go in there. Newbie wholesaler mistake number three. Newbie wholesaler mistake number three is not knowing your numbers. Not knowing your numbers probably should be newbie wholesaler mistake number one. But I have it number three for a reason because, listen, if you don't know the numbers in your deal, not only is that going to mess up the person who you're reselling the property to, it's also going to potentially mess up your spread in the deal. And then also, it may be even promising the seller something that you can't really finish and uh, actually go through on your word on. So if you don't know your numbers, if let's start from the whole beginning, right? If you don't know your numbers on the house in the area in which you're talking about, it won't even give you the confidence to talk to the sellers. Because the seller can be thinking, I want this price. And I heard from this investor that if I can get this price. And this agent told me I can get this price. The person who is confident on their numbers, 
who knows the numbers, that's the person that's going to get the deal. And so I seriously feel like whenever I'm going into a deal, I know my numbers usually better than anybody involved with it. And so I go in there confidently, like I already know that this is what retail buyers are looking for. This is what cash buyers are looking for. This is what tenant buyers are looking for in this price range at this time frame. I'm already so clear with my numbers that I'm putting everybody and everything in a place where the seller knows that when I say that I know what I'm talking about, I put it in down the numbers, I put it down in proof. And so when you're that strong, then people go with that and you're, um, and, and, as far as you being sure. You know, that's like being a leader. When you're sure about who you are and what you're doing, people feel that. And so you want to know your numbers because it's giving you negotiating power. And then also you're going to make more money on the spread and your buyers and your cash buyers and your tenant buyers are going to be able to be able to have a great deal that they can go forward and have too. All right, so that's when you know you got a great deal when you know your number. Newbie wholesaler mistake number two. Newbie wholesaler mistake number two is fear. All right, you can be fearful of success. You can be fearful of the unknown. You can be fearful of failure. You know, you can be fearful of your self-confidence and who you are. That, that is such a major mistake that you can know, you can have the blueprint, right? Somebody can hand you their entire business, tell you exactly what to say, exactly what to do. But if you have those fears, that doesn't matter. All of the things that they told you what to do, you can do it exactly in the same way that they did it. But because you don't have that self-confidence or because you're scared that if you're successful, then you don't know if you'll be able to handle it and deal with it. Or because you have that fear that if you fail, then people are going to be looking at you crazy or somebody's going to be thinking that you don't know what you're doing or that you lied to them. Like, you're going to go through those failures, right? You're going to have those success if you put your mind to it. Are you ready for it? You know, if you have those fears of the unknown, like if you're you're jumping into this as an entrepreneur, so if you're fearful of the unknown, you're fearful if if the next check don't come, am I gonna survive? And and you're going into situations like that, you're not gonna make it. It's it's seriously gonna be really hard for you because the fear is gonna be a blockage in between you and your goal. So if you have those fears to deal with, deal with those first. We're a big component of personal development. That's my full-time job, right? And I tell, that's my, literally what I do more than anything during the day. And so if you have to work on yourself first before you do this business or while you're doing this business or to keep going and keep up with this business, personal development should be number one. And check yourself with those fears. If you're doing everything right, you're doing what everybody said you should do, and you're still not getting it, it's probably this uh, mistake that you're making, which is fear. Newbie wholesaler mistake number one. Newbie wholesaler mistake number one is not following a proven plan. If you are a newbie, that means you are new. You don't know what to do. How are you going out there just doing whatever? How? And you think it's going to be successful. It's very simple to follow a proven plan. You can buy a course. You can pay for a mentor. You can follow somebody around and just annoy the mess out of them because you want to be around them. But they already know what to do. Follow that and then follow that like to the T. Follow it with like rigorous type of desire. Follow it like I'm not going to go off course with what they said because they already have the goal. They have it already. All you have to do is follow it. Once you follow it and you get success, now you can start tweaking it. Putting it towards your personality, putting it towards your lifestyle, stuff like that. That's newbie mistake number one because it's, it's so easy. I feel like out of everything that I mentioned, it's hard to get through fear barriers sometimes. Right? It's hard to learn how to talk to sellers in the right way. It takes a little bit of time. But this one right here is easy. It's easy for you to find a proven plan and then give it your all like no plan B. I'm following this to the T until I'm successful with it because I know it works. Somebody else is already doing it or somebody else has students that's actually doing it. Other people is successful with it. You know it works. Why not do it consistently all day long and don't have any plan B until you're successful with it? That's what happened with me. I got a course, like I bought several courses, but the course that I bought that I said it ain't no plan B, this is the one I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna do everything he say, I don't care what it is, and follow the exact script, that's when I got success. So I'm not just saying it to you because, you know, I'm a coach and I got a course and stuff like that. I'm saying it to you because I know it works. I hire coaches, like I'm an expert at hiring experts. Anything I wanna learn new, any new skill that I'm doing, investing, anything, I find the people that do it well, that know what they're doing, and I just follow 
follow suit and then tweak it along the way to be able to fit my lifestyle. All right, so that's the, the top five mistakes that I feel like newbie wholesalers make. Hopefully, you're not making one of these mistakes. If you are, hopefully, I shed some light on it and taught you at least how that you can get over that hump and start getting success in this game. Wholesaling is simple. It's a simple business, and when you get to a point where now you know it like the back of your hand, you won't even have to work as hard to be able to get deals if you know how to do it in the right way. We love freedom. We love living a freedom lifestyle, and so we do wholesaling in a different way, and we like to uh, do it in a no-hassle way. So if you want to do it and you need some help doing it, we would love to coach you on it. Click one of the links in the description below. Other than that, see you guys on the next video.